So the first thing I can do, I already did it with the video I made went upside down. I'll just show you quickly. This is a Teflon lube. You just come under here and hit it onto these knuckles like this. And uh, that'll lubricate the action of the jacks and the action of the piano. It's just a white powder. If you buy it, it's quite pricey. And I just kind of go like this. Okay, that's that. Now, <clears throat> now I have the problem. This needs to play in. It hasn't been played for a while. I'm not going to get too jacked out of shape about, you know, how quickly it responds to the touch right now. But I am concerned about from this section forward, these hammers are simply too hard. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to give you a different angle on this and show you. This is called needling. And you can put up to 40, 50 hours on this. Easy. And I'll show you what we do. Come in tighter. Come in tighter. Okay. This is a needling tool. I'm going to want to needle here and here and to the side here and here in the front. But do not needle this because if you needle the very part that touches the strings, it'll lose its heavy duty punch. So just so I don't get lost, I'm going to start over here. Oh, that's interesting. That guy's loose. I wonder if it was out of position. Tighten it up, right like that. Let's see who else is loose. Are you loose? Okay, I'm gonna start here. Okay, heavy duty pushes into the side here. Uh huh. Here and here and here and here. Now, this hammer will be a little softer when you know we go to play it or I go to play it. And it will give. Now, what I like about these is these are quite soft already. These do not have horribly hardened varnish from factory. I have a chance. I have a good chance to salvage these because they're looking pretty good. I'm going to come here on the side. I only use two needles because I can stick them in easier. And I come up here like this. Stay away from the hit point. Okay, come in here and here, and here and here and here. There we go. Okay, coming in here and here. I'm very, very, very happy that I have a good chance. This, see how soft these felts are? I can salvage these suckers. Oh. Be careful, if you miss, it will go into your hand and it feels real good, it's just like a shot. Very pleasant, ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, some of my piano that I worked on have blood on them, on the hammers from this. Okay, I come in here. These are so soft there that I think I can get away with just working this section a little bit here. In this section. Mm -hmm. I can feel. So you see the edge, the outer part will start to wiggle and compress easily, but the center, the very center that hits will still be stiff, and so that's when you get that beautiful tone out of a Steinway. That's of course what this game's all about, is the beauty of the sound and how that's done. I mean, see how soft these felts are. They're just beautiful condition. It's because they were really clear. <clears throat> but they also have some problems. See how squishy that part is? Now, you might be thinking, God, you've got to be kidding me. You sit and do this for every one of these? Oh, yeah. Welcome to the world of salvaging old Steinway pianos. It's quite a lot of work. Ah, oh, but that's okay. I'm going to come here now. I know that in this section of the piano, it feels rather hard, sounds hard, so I want it a little softer. Now, I could come in with softener, but 
Boy, I sure wouldn't on this one. Not not at this stage of the game. I I have high hopes that by with 10 hours or five hours of needling, this is just a test here. I'm just doing a little needling, really up towards the head. As you can see, I've started to leave alone the lower port down here. I'm working about two millimeters away from the hip point uh, because I think that's all it's going to need. Uh -huh. And I like to do this when it's on the piano. I'm going to throw it right back in the action. I'll have to adjust the lineup of the hammers to the strings, but I can do that with just a shim on the left side easily and bring it over about a half a millimeter. I can tell it's off just a little bit. And that the hammer has to be aligned properly to the spring string. Now, if I'm successful with this enterprise, um, I also have a baby hammer so I can come in and get rid of little little bumps like that, little pimples that I don't want on there. I'll come in. I got this tool kit used from a technician who had quit or passed away. Somebody had it. Got a lot of the tools that you need to do this crazy work. I swore I'd never touch another piano after the last one I did, but this 1883 got me. And I thought I'd try to salvage it for somebody. Mm. Mm. You do fatigue when you do this work a little bit as part of the game. Just have to keep going. Because there are two needles, I can stick it in a little easier than if there were, you know, four. I'm going to do that. I'm going to start the video again because it's getting long. Ugh.